the purpose of this video is to demonstrate processes. I'm not in any way claiming to be an expert at how to use UDO. I'm just using it like everyone else. I'm doing discovery. I read stuff on the forums and I go try it. Uh, I'm always looking for a cool new prompt to try out. Uh, it's an exciting piece of software that uh, is really a lot of fun to uh, explore, especially if you're kind of the person that likes all kinds of music. And so in this video, I'm going to show a process of using clip timing to prevent hard beginnings and endings. Now this idea was given to me off the forum. A user by the name of Bleak Season made this suggestion and I had seen clip timing and even read it says where you want the generated clip to start and end in the context of a full song. And uh, once I was turned on to this idea uh, I decided I would show the process and that would also spread the word even more and I am asking that you put comments don't judge me too harshly because all I'm doing is trying to show workflow and discoveries of ways to make more songs uh, and and just have more fun with this process so let's get underway here we've got Texas Blues single simple prompt it's set to manual mode it's on the two minute model it's going to be an instrumental it's using the model 1.5 the prompt strength is at 100 the lyric strength is at zero seed is randomized I'm not going to get into seeds clip timing is going to be set to zero and 100 the idea being that we're going to have an intro and an ending and we're going to have uh, nothing on the lyric timing it's going to be fully wide and clarity is 25 and then we have uh, ultra quality now I've already rendered this first clip which when we listen to it it should have a lot maybe a 20 second intro it's gonna get into the body of the music it's probably gonna have a few uh, lead uh, guitar or violin or something in the middle and then at the end it's gonna have a hard ending so let's listen to it <laughs>
Okay, so what we heard was about a 20 second intro. Uh, we heard a little piano solo, and then we heard a guitar solo. And then at the end, we heard wrap up and uh, a slam ending. So that is the two minute model based on clip timing set to zero and 100. So now we're going to render uh, a Texas blues song with the same parameters, uh, manual, two minute, instrumental, 1.5, 100% prompt, and clip timing. I'm not going to do both ends. I'm just going to do the ending. We're going to set it to 80%. And let's see if we can get it on 80 right there 80 percent so now we're going to render the clip and while the clip is rendering i'm going to pause the recording so that you don't have to set through the full uh, time period that it takes to render uh, the file so let's get started there's our two tracks being developed by the model and it's going to render in ultra and so at this point i'm going to pause the recording okay we're back and our two tracks have completed their uh, rendering process and so what we expect is we should be able to play these tracks they'll have intros and but they won't have endings they'll be continuous to the edge of two minutes 11 seconds and at that point we can append uh, we can extend the tracks uh, by using this uh, clip timing process so let's see what the result is i'm going to let the track play uh, for 20 seconds and then I'm going to jump the track to about a minute and 50 so if we can see the ending. So as you can see, it no longer has a, a slam style in ending. And if we want to do this one more time, we can now say take 10% off the front and we can render that. And what we'll get is no intro and no hard ending, which allows us to build tracks and I call it track farming, where you just, I can render up to eight tracks. And then uh, while I'm auditioning other tracks, I can run eight more. And that way I can build a, a large collection of tracks and then uh, put those tracks uh, in a sequential playback just by clicking on the top track and letting it play through and then just listening while you do something else to uh, see if one stands out to you. If it does, I head over, hit the heart button to come back to later and let it play. So let's go ahead and render uh, another set of tracks, this time with uh, no intro and no hard ending. So let's try that. And we're doing it with the same Texas Blues manual mode, instrumental, and 
Ultra, and I will pause the recording in order to save time on the video. So, there's our two tracks getting started, and at this point I will pause the recording and be back shortly. Okay, we're back, and we have two rendered tracks, and keep in mind that those two tracks uh, do not have intros, and they don't have endings. Let's see what the result was. That jumps right in. Okay, uh, UDO did what it said it was going to do, and we've got two tracks that have no beginning and no ending. So, let's try to use the extend feature. We'll click on that. We're going to add an intro, and we're going to make it instrumental, and we want it to be 100% prompt. And we're going to start the clip at the beginning. And we're going to render that out. And I will pause the recording during that time. So now we're rendering an intro. So let's pause. And I'll be back after it finishes. Okay, we're back. The two tracks are complete. And we should have intros. Uh, so let's uh, take a listen. Okay, we got uh, a nice little intro, and let's just go ahead and audition the second version. Okay, so that was a nice intro, and now let's take this first track and go ahead and extend once again, and we're going to say it has to be an instrumental, it has to be manual, Texas Blues, we're adding an outro at this point, I'm not going to add a, a section instrumental and this time it's saying it's going to append it to the end and create a, a final close I'll render that and I will pause the recording while it's rendering
Okay, we're back, and we've got two new tracks, and let's listen to the full track, it's 3 minutes and 16 seconds, with a beginning, middle, and end. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a nice little fade out uh, as our ending. So anyway, that wraps up this video. Thank you to Bleak Season, the user on the UDO Reddit forums who said, uh, try this method. And I really like it. The idea that you can... Uh, Control the clip timing uh, gives you a whole other way of uh, looking at the process. So uh, definitely subscribe and leave a like. And if you will, add a comment if you have some ideas. I'm looking for nice comments. I'm putting it out there in order to uh, help others who are looking for ways to utilize this program, the joy that it brings uh, for somebody who uh, is always listening to music. Uh, it's a great, uh, fun music video game in a way. It, it makes things for you that you curate, you're like a curator 
of uh, the mechanics of musical ideas, and uh, I just love it. Anyway, that's all. Good day.